Welcome back to Restaurant Food Fast, everybody. Today is a beautiful spring day in the Berg, and we are going to grill. Yes, we are. What episode? 64. Okay. Yes, the grilling season has begun. Or 63. It's one of those. I'll have to look it up. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, too many anymore. Shrimp. I had some shrimp laying around and some asparagus. Spring is asparagus season also. So when that comes into the store, I always buy a bunch because the kids love it. So we're going to take some asparagus that I have par-steamed. All I did was plain water and I had some uh, bacon left over from breakfast. So I put the bacon in the steaming water, which is going to add a little bit of smoke flavor to the asparagus. Other than that, it's just, you know, the, the oil, salt, and pepper. What does par-steam mean? It means that you steam it till it's not quite done. Because shrimp takes so very little time on the grill, um, if you would try and cook asparagus beside it, the shrimp would be just rubber, and the asparagus done. would still be crunchy. So what I did was steam it a little, a little while, just till it turns green. The first, just a little bit of green, bright green. Took it out, shocked it, which is dumping the hot product into ice cold water, stops the cooking, and then uh, put it on the skewer. Screw them up, and we're good to go. So I've got my grill cranking right now to about 550 because again, everything's almost done when it starts. Shrimp cooks so fast that you really don't have to worry about it burning before it cooks. So I've got a bunch of these in a hot grill and we're going to have that. All right, we'll take a second here and we'll show you exactly what he means by that's what he did. Hey, all right. Shrimp grill today, shrimp and asparagus. I've got par steamed asparagus and peeled, deveined shrimp. Very simple olive oil. Just enough to coat everything. Salt. Toss. You just want to get all that oil is going to make the salt and pepper stick to everything, so you just want to kind of toss everything around so it's all coated. With this dish, I'm trying to let the flavors of the ingredients come through. Not a whole lot of seasoning to any of it. And then I'm just going to skewer the shrimp and asparagus. If I can if I hold the stick down further, like this, it goes on a whole lot. And then that's it. You just load these up, fire them on the grill. A little bit of lemon would go on this, white wine, a little bit of acid would be fine. I'm not going to use it, I just want what I got. Eck. Pretty much it. Do four and four. There you go. I'm going to process these out and then we'll move outside and grill them on. Okay. These sticks were soaked in water so they don't um, catch fire. Well, they probably still will. And these are all just the shrimp bits because I had more shrimp than you had asparagus. Then I had asparagus. And now we get to the nice asparagus. Now we stick that one so it stays even. And that's it. These are nice. They get turned once and they're done. Now you're going to close the lid and force the heat to stay in or you just leave um, these? You could oh, do fresh either. There. 
Ouch. I did say this was 550, right? Which means it's really hot. And where's the other one going to go? On the grill? Yeah, but where? I've kind of mismanaged my space on the grill here. I'll put this one back. All right. Yeah, we'll shut the lid for a little bit. Yeah, with the grilling season coming up, it's really, grilling is very, very simple. Um, there's another new show, um, actually two relatively new shows on the Food Network that kind of irritate me. One, Restaurant Food Made Easy. They do have a good chef doing it. Um, I forget the lady's name. So basically they stole our premise. <laughs> the, the lady's really good, though. She's she's a restaurateur, been in the business a while, and she's, she's real good. It stole our Still our premise, but anyway. And the other one they have is um, five ingredients. They have a new show out that is just five ingredients to make a gourmet meal. That's the premise for almost every restaurant there is. The fewer the ingredients, the less time you need, the less prep you need, the easier it is to cook something a la minute, which means at time of service. So, uh, what that mean at this minute? Yes. It does. <clears throat> like this recipe. It's shrimp, asparagus, oil, salt, and pepper. Heat. Heat's not an ingredient. Right. right. Okay, try making that without heat. I can smell the skewers. They also have a very nice smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. Getting a shot of that, Jeffy? Can you yeah, see they're the, pinking up quite nicely. Yeah. So you see when they start pinking, which is the discoloration of the shrimp that's starting to cook, you can take and take a look at them and see just how cooked they are on the other side. Okay, so if you think they need a little more, just leave them a little more. You're not worried about grill marks on shrimp. So we're we'll just fire that back down, give it a couple seconds, turn them, a couple more seconds, they're done. Nice thing about grill. It's just so fast. You know, you don't have to sit and wait. You don't have to preheat the ovens outside. Your house doesn't get hot. Well, that was another reason we're doing it is because we had some requests to do some grilling episodes. Yeah. Because there was other people out there who said, hey, it's starting to get really nice. Grilling episodes. Give me some good grill recipes. Yeah, so. Any vegetables you have. Um, peppers, mushrooms, onions, asparagus, beans even work. Squash. They're hard to do. You can grill squash and keep them big enough. Um, I don't like squash very much, but grilled zucchini I love. The flavor and the texture is completely different than when you Fry steam it, or... cook it, yeah, anything like that. It stays nice. And um, just adds a, a nice texture to it. So anything you want to grill, vegetarian, any meats, you know, you just got the only time you got to watch with meats is if you got a really, really big hunk. Like if you're going to try and barbecue a pork shoulder, low 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 you want a barbecue you want low and slow stuff like this screaming hot get it done burgers those gourmet burgers we did work great on the grill you know apparently it looks like we had a lot of uh a lot of views on the uh on the gourmet burgers they uh, apparently there's a lot of interest in those yeah i you know what that's a dichotomy to me because it's i don't know to me, they try to make it out into this big thing. It's gourmet burgers. It's it's a hamburger. You jam stuff in it and you cook it. It's easy. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do that. You know, but people, you know, they love them. That's I've been in the mood for burgers lately. I've, a couple of the shows have been showing, like the Cardiac Grill and all that, where they have those monster burgers. Oh yeah, they actually spread lard, lard, not mayonnaise, lard, on the bun. They're ready to turn. See how they're all nice and pink now? They're starting to cook on top. Just take them and flip them. And I'm going to try and manage my grill a little better this time. Because I'm, as I said, misused my space allotment. Stop 
like playing tiddlywinks with your food. seconds on this side just to get a little bit of char on them and they're finished they're done that's it starch for this rice rice pilaf be typical well, like uh, another tip we want to give you is remember to always soak the skewers yeah so that they don't totally i mean they're going to catch fire a little bit because you're putting them on a the grill uh -huh. in, in what vodka or vodka, that, that, that's actually a, a good trick is i've known chef when you're using wooden skewers as Ward was saying, you soak them in water so they don't burst into flames. Another good trick is to soak them in flavor of some sort. You can soak them in shrimp base. You can soak them in alcohol, not so much, because it'll catch fire anyway. It'll catch fire really fast. <laughs> yeah, but if you soak them in flavor, anything you want, salt the water. Put, you know, Use the, the liquid that you steamed your asparagus. Soak the sticks in that. Um, it just adds another dimension of flavor to it. But yeah, these are now done. That's it. Quick, fast, in a hurry, really good. One of two ways to plate. One way would be take all this off. It with your starch. Which I'm not doing because I'm just going to eat these. If I don't shoot the asparagus all over the ground. A nice color content already. Very light meal. Um, Flavors are only what you've got there. So we're not covering this in sauce or anything. Peel off around it or on the side of it, and you're good. Or you can use a bigger plate, and what we would do in the restaurants is we would take these skewers. And shorten them down to fit the plate. I'm not going to go through the object of cutting them all up. Usually for a lunch portion it would be two skewers. Unless you're eating lunch. Yeah. So it's two orders. And then you just, same thing, TP it on the rice, however else you want to do it. But that's it. Pretty much for this episode. <laughs> Outside grilling, it's a time for it. You gotta go for it. Anything you want will go on a grill. Peas are hard though. Way too much time to grill peas. So you may not want to try that. If you do, put down some tin foil. So that's it for this one. All right. So um, before we go, I want to give a shout out to our Twitter fans. Uh, we're, we're well over a thousand now. People following us on Twitter. Why I don't know, but hey. Yeah. Uh, so you can hit us up on Twitter yep. at restaurant underscore food. You can send us an email at restaurantfoodfast at gmail .com. You can drop something in the in the uh, comments at restaurantfoodfast.com. Yep. Uh, we haven't had a ask Miguel qu uh, question yet because we haven't heard from me back from Miguel. But once we do, I'm sure that we'll. Well, we do have more questions from him. Um, but I wanted to. There's only three. I think we only have three left. So I'm going to save them for another Miguel episode. Um, and, and yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing from week to week, Miguel. I have trouble figuring out where I'm at half the time. So. If I can, I will let you know what we're going to do coming up. Um, if it's nice next week, we can grill. Yeah, hopefully we'll be doing a couple grill episodes because there's been such a demand yeah. for the grill. And there's been our, our grill episodes, for whatever reason, are a big hit. Show you how to do some different stuff with like I grilled the um, London broils. You saw me those big chunks. Well, I'll show you how to slice that down and grill it more for instead of having the big piece instead of doing it like a steak we'll do it in pieces all right maybe we'll do that next week beef on the grill chicken on the grill everything on the grill 
Yeah, we'll Hamburgers. Just, we'll just do a, a, a massive grill month episode. of grills. Sounds good to me. All right. So, and hopefully, we'll, we'll, the weather will continue to cooperate because this weather is just Gorgeous. outrageous. It's yeah. phenomenal. So, well, I'm not Ward, and I'm not Chuck, but this is Restaurant Food Fast, and, and we're, we're out. out of here.